What it do, Dream Team? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with Red Dwarf Season 5, Episode 5. We are flying right through and I'm so excited to jump into this episode. However, before we do, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button, get a video a like, and let's stop. Calibrator locked and set. Organic infrastructure recorded and stored. Engage the triplicator. It works. That's what pretty dope. Doing? We've adapted the matter paddle. Only now the returning signal is split three ways. So as well as receiving the original object, we also get two identical copies. This is going to solve all our supply problems. Taking into account the computations for recalibration, I think we can produce four. Perhaps even five strawberries a week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the Nobel Prize people run a fruit section, but if they do, you got to be this year's hot tip. <laughs> Gentlemen, history beckons. You'll be famous. They'll build your statues. They'll even name towns after you. Dorksville springs instantly to mind. <laughs> this machine she could revolutionize our lives. Absolutely. With this little baby running in full pelt, I confidently predict we can have a full fruit salad by the end of the year. <laughs> It's not just strawberries. This machine can duplicate anything. It can... Sir, what's wrong? Uh -oh. Strawberry's incredible. It's oh. succulent. It's divine. Is that the same? Oh, no, no. How's it different? Bitter. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. It's kind of tangy. Sir, not crunchy. <laughs> Sir, tangy. Kind of chewy. Meaty. Oh. Funny kind of wriggly texture. <laughs> oh, so it's as if the triplicator has extracted all the very best elements out of one duplicate and all the very worst out of the other. Oh. So what would happen if we reverse the process? Oh my god. I guess we found out what would happen. Nice experiment, guys. What do you do for an encore? Neutron bomb juggling? <laughs> rude alert, rude alert. An electrical fire has knocked out my voice recognition unicycle. Many Wurlitzers are missing from my database. Abandoned shop. This is not a daffodil. Repeat, this is not a daffodil. <laughs> well, thankfully, Holly's unaffected. <laughs> is approaching critical mass. We'll have meltdown in less than 15 minutes. Uh, I think a brisk stroll in the direction of the cargo bay could be an outstanding career move at this point. Who do you say Red Dwarf's gonna blow? In less time than it takes a Norwegian to buy ski boots. Hey oh guys, my I'm god. Be my tune near Wooga Wild. Anyone care to join me in a quick step? Hey, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, you're kidding. Open cargo bay doors. Uh, 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 Holly, uh, th th those cargo bay doors we talked about earlier. Uh, would you mind opening them, please? <laughs> Holly, the doors, Holly. The first Holly, cargo uh, bay doors does not appear to be in my lexicon. Manual override. Oh, forget it. Okay. Taking clicks. We should be clear of any possible blast zone. How they gonna be the red door without the red door? No, the red door got. The, it's, it's not gonna blow up. It's not gonna blow up. You it's really good. think it's gonna blow? It's it can. Blow up. Nothing's gonna happen. We just need a precaution. Whole ship's full of fail safes anyway. Cooling systems, containment panels, vacuum shields. Actual chances of it blowing are about one in. <laughs> They just destroyed the red door. Well, according to the charts, the nearest asteroid with an S3 atmosphere is six hours away. The trouble is we only have enough fuel for five hours flight. I don't think that's going to prove to be a major problem though, because we only have enough oxygen for seven minutes. Oh. <laughs> well, that doesn't really affect us, does it? Sorry, sir. We don't need oxygen. 
Now here's a thought. If we ejected their corpses into outer space, would the weight reduction allow us to reach the asteroid? Come on, Rumi, that's not the attitude. Sorry? It's not the Red Dwarf way. We're all in trouble, we're all in trouble. The posse. The boys from the Dwarf. If one of us is in a fix, the whole boys band together. That's the way it is. Have you got anything in writing? <laughs> Slimy, river-dwelling rodent with the models of a praying mantis. I'm just being a realist. Look, you only have seven minutes left to live. That's tragic. God, it's tragic. <laughs> but for the rest of us, life must go on. If I may interject, sir, in your case, that's not exactly true. Uh, remember, you are operating on emergency battery supplies. Uh, we have no spares. Uh, in fact, you yourself, sir, will expire in a little under four minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, homeboys, let's posse. <laughs> let's posse. Right, right, get a radar scope, scan the wreckage. Straight away, so can't get suited up. Maybe some oxygen tanks have survived. Maybe some fuel tanks. If I can get a fix and get out there, we'll bring them on board. Meanwhile, turn river down to minimum power. That way it'll triple his running time. Sirs, there's something out there. Two objects far too vast to be debris. According to the backlog, they materialized just before the explosion. Can we get any closer? Enhance maximum. It's two more red dwarves. <laughs> of course, the triplicator has made two copies of red dwarf. Dang. Oh, well, that's sensational. You feel me? That's that's a blessing right there. That was that was much needed. When I threw the triplicator into reverse, it didn't reverse the process. It reversed the field of the beat, projecting it out, not in. So instead of copying the strawberries, it copied the entire ship. Precisely. Oh my god. And presumably the resultant power drain exposed the engine's core and caused the original to blow. So like the strawberries, there are two new red dwarfs. One succulent and divine, the other fish bait. <laughs> so what's the problem? We got us a ship. And from what you're saying, it should be better than the original. Not quite. In the lab, the triplicated copies had a limited lifespan. Oof. About an hour. Well, there may be a solution. The contents of the ship should be triplicated too. And so there will be a working triplicator on board whichever of the ships is the superior. See, theoretically, we should be able to reverse the reversal and replicate the original Red Dwarf by amalgamating the two puppies. There you go! It makes it sound so simple. <laughs> they finna get onto the bad one first. Terminal to reboost Mr. Rimmer's battery pack. We'll catch you up. Time running backwards, a play pool with planets, and I've given birth to twins. I never thought in my entire life I'd taste an edible pot noodle. <laughs> Brothers, <laughs> you bid you welcome. Oh my god, must they got triplicated too? Come. Oh my god. <laughs> you're me, but you're not me. I am part of you, your higher self, your spiritual side. I exist in you as potential. But now I'm here, extrapolated from your being. Extrapolated? Well, what a lady? Buddy, there's no way you're a part of me. No part of me would ever be seen alive in sandals. <laughs> I find clothes a distraction from the pursuit of spiritual and intellectual fulfillment. That's weird, because I find spiritual and intellectual fulfillment a distraction from the pursuit of clothes. <laughs> Let us join our friends in the meditation chair. Perhaps then we can spend a proof to believe in seeking out answers to the metaphysical conundrum. Mankind since time began. Sounds wild. Hold me back. <laughs> Philosophy, poetry, music, and study. That is how we spend our time. Trying to expand our minds. Oh no. The potential of the service of nah, this one sucks. I, I, yeah. 
this 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 Randor sucks, but the other one's probably worse. So you just gotta pick which one you wanna be on. What a pair of nooses. More visitors. Come, Solzerman, let us prepare some refreshments. May your path lead to wisdom, and in wisdom know ye peace. <laughs> guys are supposed to be part of us? I don't buy it. These are our higher selves. They're the people we could have become if all the negative aspects of our characters were removed. You mean hippies? Spencer, <laughs> you think Jesus was a hippie? Well, he was. He had long hair, he didn't have a job, but what do you want? Smart. <laughs> this is my guess. Your mind records everything. Everything you see, hear, every word you read, every conversation. It's all stored in your subconscious. Somehow, our higher selves have access to that knowledge. Look, I'm getting itchy feet here. We've got the gizmo, let's scram before the Mad Monk Brothers rope us into an evening of philosophical musics and self-flagellation. It's <laughs> not that simple. This triplicator has only half the vital components. We need All the second day. triplicator from below ship. Oh my god. The entertainment begin. There will be haiku readings, poetry recitals, and oh. musings on the inner soul. But first, music and dance. Brother River is portraying <laughs> Hagen. The soul in search of the truth. Truth danced by Brother Cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Flicks like a firefly to the cold night of the soul. Teasing, confusing, and agony in torment. Searches forever in vain. <laughs> I am compelled to intrude. What is it, sister? I am receiving a weak but plaintive distress call from a ship which appears to be identical to our own. Then we must help them? With haste, brothers? Oh, Lord. Here we go. Approach Pat blocks his hand. Okay, let's just take her in nice and easy. <laughs> Welcome, brothers. We bring food and medical supplies. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, they shot this way. They just shot this way. This gun must have gone off accidentally. Welcome, my children. We bring you bombs and tinctures. Please <laughs> to sing you healing hymns. <laughs> <laughs> See, Dad? You can only hope. <laughs> the poor wretch has a faulty gun. He's accidentally shot me five times. Oh, I love him! <laughs> He's accidentally shot me five times. There is a grievous fault with thine weapon. It keepeth shooting people. You see? There it goes again. <laughs> what is this? It's a greeting gift. Sparkling welcome all. Come, let us embrace its splendid beauty and share it in vibration. Oh my god. It's exquisite, divine. What does it say to you, brother? <laughs> oh my god, bro. Ugh. God. Oh my God.
over it. Got to be kidding me. I want to hurt you. Because I'm not a very nice person. Oh! Oh. I'm going to lash you to within an inch of your life. And then I'm going to have you. God dang, it turned them off. <laughs> oh Lord. Sirs, we're running short of time. We have less than 20 minutes to find the second triplicator and set it up. I suggest we divide our efforts. A sage suggestion, brother. Perhaps I should go with Brother Cat. You haven't got a weapon. We have no need of weapons, feline brother. We wear protective herbs. <laughs> As you wish, brother. Thank you, friend. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> 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 So dirty. That yeah, yeah. Take me back to the soul brothers. To the higher play. Take me back to the higher level of existence. This is this is awful. Yes. <laughs> oh, you guys have got to be yanking my chain. Ah, 
Aubrey, he kills. I'm not capable of that. We'll soon see about that. Revenge of the Mutants, Black Door Monster. <laughs> Die screaming with sharp things in your head. Oh. Gore movies, weapons magazines. Oh, this place is a shrine to everything that's low and base. Everything that's designed to sicken the soul and shrivel the spirit. Ooh, toasty toppers. <laughs> Cinema hot dogs. <laughs> Sweaty kebabs with stringy brown letters coming out. Oh. Oh. Look at this music. Ham and Hem. Karaoke crazy. Peter Perfect plays tuneful tunes for elderly ladies. Exactly. Oh, wait, here it is. No, clearly they have no idea as to its purpose. How long do we have? Barely eight minutes, sir. Have I told today how much I love thee, brother? How much my heart glimmers like a newborn star when I gaze upon thy impetuous countenance. Oh, my Thy love God. refreshes and cleanses me like a babbling mountain stream, brother. Uh oh, they did. East yonder, your likeness, brother. A knife. Are you hungry, brother? I have some pulses in the little curd for your refreshment. Oh. Forgive me, brother. I appear to have stayed thy life and with my blood. <laughs> brother, permit me to furnish you with a fresh knife. <laughs> Farewell, brother. My brook is battled. <laughs> Oh. I found Goldwolf's head, no sign of Dormouse cheeks, though. Sir, we were so worried. What happened? We were ambushed by a platoon of Lowe's. I was leading a valiant rearguard action. I found him shivering in a box. <laughs> it was a tactical maneuver to outfox the enemy. As was using his uniform as a temporary latrine. <laughs> Sir, where is Mr. Lister? We got jumped and he ran off through the storage bay like a gazelle on steroids. Just have to leave him. Within four minutes, this ship will no longer exist. Hey, there he is. What's up, Salon, buddy? What? Look out! I'm going to kill you! Hey. I'm a homicidal maniac! My body's being remote controlled by the load! Crack, look out! You gotta stop me! Shoot him! What? Blow his kneecaps off, it's the only way. Give me a break, Rimmer. He's a homicidal maniac. Put him down. Go for some other way. You gotta incapacitate me somehow. There, right. Hit him over the head with that axe. Ow. Kill me! <laughs> Not if he does it gently. <laughs> He's killing the cat. Oh, what can I do? Incapacitate me in a painless way. Oh. That was unnecessary. Unnecessary? Look what you've done to my neckline. This stuff never springs back. <laughs> oh my god! I think I'm going for the pursuit point! Duck! Left! Right! I'm trying to reload! Someone get behind me! I I'm gonna come round behind you now, sir. Okay, Crichton, take me by surprise! I'm coming round behind you to take you by surprise, sir. Get on with it, surprise me! You may get an unpleasant sensation of chloroform, don't be alarmed. Surprise me now! Here comes my surprise, sir. <laughs> Yeah, better hurry you. Okay. How long before the triplicator activates? Less than two minutes. Hurry! Ah, oh, dang. Ah, uh, uh-oh. Flip battery! Who left the lights on? No, oh, it's the magnetic coils. They've depolarized. As if the decay on this ship is in some way contagious. 35 seconds. Try the backup. Let's get They're out not getting up out of there. Yep, all systems check. We're up. We're good. Not again. What's the steering? Chloroforming. Oh, wait. I think I've located the spinal implant. 
that. Yeah. Oh, where is it? I've lost it. It's in his neck. Oh my god. There we go. Holly's back. Mr. Lister, wake up, sir. It's over. We're safe now. Engaging autopilot. Call zero, zero, mark zero. Taking her home. See what you did to my blue song? Look at it. Plus, you almost killed me three times. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't my fault. What'd you get one of them things? Didn't you just look kind of... I think he just sat in the spinal implant. Oh, it doesn't make sense. Who's controlling him? I better remove the spinal implant and destroy it once and for all. No, no, wait a minute. Just give me one week. That's all I ask. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Go be food. Uh, you can't help but freaking love this show. The concepts for each show are just, or each episode are just absolutely hilarious and entertaining. That's all we have. If you guys enjoyed that, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. I'll see y'all next time.